So I'm taking some time to myself to get out here in the beautiful Colorado mountains, get some fresh air, some sunshine, do some hiking. It feels so good. I just feel really alive just to hike this beautiful peak and uh, climbing the top still. And I just had this inspiration to share with you some um, some ideas I had about how to create some space for yourself because it's the one thing that uh, really helps us in life to really go inside and find that connection with our source, with our consciousness, with our awareness, that place where we're free from thoughts, all these thoughts and desires and things that plague us and make us go crazy. So yes, it's about creating some space between you and your thoughts. And it's really a lot easier to do when you're alone in the mountains or in the desert or in the ocean or wherever by yourself to just be with your own mind and to start to create some distance with your mind. The first secret I've got for you today is about creating firm boundaries with others. So this is about saying no, because when you say no, you're actually saying yes to something else. So you say no to what you don't want at that moment, and then you can say yes to what you do want at that moment. And that moment's gonna change. Maybe the next hour, next day, next week, you're gonna say yes to that thing. So it's just about in the moment really honoring yourself and saying, you know, I'm just gonna have this boundary. I'm gonna learn to say no. And it's just temporary and create some space. And I'm just gonna really enjoy this time for me. Okay? The second secret is about deserving this time to yourself, okay? That you're worth it. Like, you have so much goodness inside of you, so much love, so much joy, so much beauty is inside your heart, your soul, and the core of your being. And if you don't deserve to have time alone, then you're just going to be feeding off of others and trying to connect with others and trying to, you know, establish more and more relationships out there instead of inside of you. So it's about relationship with yourself, really. And um, saying that you deserve that. You deserve to have a relationship with yourself. And that it's, it's necessary. It's really necessary to have a, a healthy life. That you enjoy being with you. And uh, you have fun being with you. Okay? So, sometimes we get a little lost in our thoughts. In fact, most of the time, we're kind of lost in our thoughts. And we're not really watching them. So this third secret is probably one of the most important ones. So this secret is about having the courage to step into your aloneness. Okay, that it can be scary to be alone. You know, there's a lot of crazy things in this world and the mind plays with those things. And so we get we can get go into a lot of fear when we're alone. And especially if we're doing like a cleanse and just really releasing a lot of old garbage in our intestines, which is one of the healthiest things I recommend doing, you know, if you're really going to go deep into your own spiritual practice, your meditation journey, to find peace, to find happiness, to find real source of joy in your life. So just cleanse out the, the gunk inside your system. You know, go for 10 days, 21 days, three days, whatever it takes, 36 hours even, to just release. And uh, you'll see that something opens up inside your mind, inside your being, from releasing all that gunk inside. All that pus is kind of trapped inside because of all the foods that we're eating are not so healthy. So, yeah, so this, this secret is about having the courage to step into your aloneness which really means that you're not afraid of yourself. You're embracing yourself. You're saying yes to yourself. You're saying, this is me. And there's many parts to me. I've got sad parts, angry parts, happy parts, hopeful parts, lonely parts. They're all just parts. And when you really get down to the nitty gritty, 
they're just thoughts. They're not even really parts. They're just ideas that you have about who you are. And so the courage really is, is about stepping into your truth, your power, the, the core of your being, which it says, you know, I'm just going to step away from these thoughts. I'm going to have the courage to really go beyond these thoughts and really be in the core of me, which isn't a thought. The core of you is just presence. The core of you is stillness. The core of you is relaxation into the infinite essence of the spiritual being that you are. And so it's the most beautiful thing in the world. So it's it's not really that hard to have the courage. Really, the courage is really about stepping away from the old patterns, the habits, the people, the work, the situations, the family, whatever it is, to really be in your truth, in your core. So the last secret is my favorite. And this secret is about learning how to relax. Okay, because when you're alone, and you're taking space for yourself, there is this anxiety that's going to come up. Like you're just going to have tension. There's going to be stuff going on in your mind because you haven't taken time for yourself maybe in a long time or maybe just recently, but still there's going to be stuff. So you got to learn how to just let go, relax, maybe take a hot bath, you know, just say to yourself, this is a time for me to just let my body be loose and natural. Just remember those words, you know, when you're, you're taking space, just be loose and natural. And when you can dive into that space of being loose, like a rag doll, and natural, like a tree, then you can really relax into yourself and get rooted in yourself. And from that space, you can find stillness. And that's the most beautiful experience in this universe, okay? is finding absolute stillness from the mind and all the mind chatter and all the belief systems and all the craziness that goes inside the head. It's just like, ah, I finally, finally can have peace. Okay, so relaxation yields to stillness. It breeds it, it, it opens it and allows you to really find your, your, your real essence again, okay? which is already here. You don't have to go create it. It's, it's already this moment is here is this essence. So it's just about creating the space around you so you can drop into it. Okay. It's just, you know, it's something that we all deserve in life is to have this experience of really dropping into our spiritual essence, the space of our beingness. And from that place we can come home. So, Thank you so much for listening. I would bid you well on your journey and uh, take care. Namaste.